Um, it's a little bit uh, hard to say anything profound after all the information uh, that's been transmitted today, and I don't pretend to be as expert as some of the speakers. So I'll try to make some general summary comments about the uh, conference here. I think uh, this slide uh, says, says a lot. Uh, we've evolved quite a bit from the 1991 report by Moses Jacobs of laparoscopic colon resection and from the times in 1995 and to later when uh, some of us sat around to put together the original cost trial with Heidi Nelson, uh, we've come a long way. And I think it's also important to realize that there's a big difference between what's known about colon cancer and uh, rectal cancer. And certainly the challenges for treating rectal cancer are quite different uh, than they are in colon cancer. And how all this ends up in terms of invasiveness versus treating cancer, I think, is at the heart of the, uh, heart of the matter. So I, I, I would uh, say that all good houses are built on a solid foundation. And in this case, the solid foundation are the basic principles that I think we adhere to. The most important thing is to cure cancer and to prevent local recurrence. And that in that context, if that's your goal, then the uh, size of the incision really doesn't matter a whole lot in terms of the ultimate uh, goal and, and, and so forth. So the short-term morbidity is, uh, is worth talking about. It's worth comparing and contrasting between different methodologies. But as we approach a patient with rectal cancer who has many years left to live, we wouldn't want to compromise that in any way uh, just to uh, decrease some form of morbidity. Another fact, I think, is that high volume centers have better outcomes than the occasional surgeon for patients with rectal cancer. And that's not to say that uh, excellent surgeons fail to get excellent results, but the treatment of this disease is really multidisciplinary and it requires collaboration between uh, oncologists, uh, radiation oncologists, surgeons, and also uh, teams such as stoma, enterostomal therapy. And this is best put together under one roof at a large center. So in some of, the, uh, some of the European countries, obviously this can be regionalized in the United States, as was alluded to. Attempts are made to regionalize it, and, and in some states it's more possible than other. Uh, in terms of uh, robotics and technology, be it 3D uh, and so forth, I think that better technology is necessary, but it's not in and of itself sufficient. And you can't take technology and replace the multidisciplinary team, the thought process, and the overall planning that goes into the care of some of these uh, people. And I would lastly say that as this, as this uh, conference illustrates, we're continuously innovating and we're trying to do better and better.